Hi everyone, our subject today is aplastic anemia pancytopenia in pediatrics. Basics. Aplastic anemia represent a heterogeneous group of disorder characterized by peripheral pancytopenia and bone marrow hypercellularity in the absence of infiltrative bone marrow disease. Clinically, this results in anemia, hemorrhage, and decreased resistance to infection. Severe aplastic anemia is diagnosed when at least two of the following are present. Absolute neutrophil count less than 500, platelet count less than 20,000, and corrected retic count 1%. Most cases are acquired more than 8%. Incidence is triphasic with the peaks within this age group. Two to five years of age due to inherited cases, 20 to 25 years of age and more than 60 years old. Risk factor, no gender or racial predominance. Risk for acquired aplastic anemia is higher in the setting of autoimmune disease like SLE, Drugs like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, chloramphenicol, sulfonamide, carbamazepine, cimetidine, nifedipine, graft versus host disease, pregnancy, toxin, nitrous oxide, radiation, benzene, viral infection, Ebersten bar virus, parvovirus P19, hepatitis, HIV. History. Clinical presentation is variable based on degree of pancytopenia. Progressive anemia, fatigue, pallor, dyspnea, headache, neutropenia, fever, mucosal ulceration, recurrent bacterial infection, thrombocytopenia, easy bruises, rash, petechial, jaundice, mucosal membrane bleeding. Detailed history include both history, growth trajectory, antecedent illness, infection, especially viral, entero, uh, environmental exposure. An increased susceptibility to infection may suggest an immune deficiency syndrome. Comprehensive review of a system with the emphasis on neurological, including developmental delay, learning disability, endocrine, hypogonadism, growth delay, and other system review. Family history of cancer, predisposition, excessive toxicity to chemotherapy, unexplained fetal losses, anemia, cytopenia, or congenital anomalies. History of exposure to agents that are potentially myelosuppressive. These include radiation, chemotherapy like 6 mercaptopurine, methotrexate, nitrogen mustard. Other drugs include chloramphenicol, sulfonamide, phenylbutazone, and anticonvulsant. Chemicals and toxin include benzene and other aromatic hydrocarbon present in insecticide and herbicide. Physical examination. Pallor is usually the first sign of aplastic anemia, may be accompanied by bruises, petechia, and or purpura. Cardiovascular exam. Tachycardia, systolic flow murmur, over sign of heart failure, such as weak pulses, prolonged capillary refill pulmonary congestion, and hepatomegaly. Jaundice and tender hepatomegaly may be seen. Siblinomegaly may be present. Head evaluate for eye, epicanthal fold, jaw, palate, abnormality, oral mucosal lesion, bleeding, thrush. Specific finding of certain inheritance syndrome, amegakaryocytic thrombocytopenia with absent radii, diamond black fan syndrome, cleft palate, Micrognathia, thumb anomaly, dyskeratosis congenita, oral leucoblechia, dysmorphic nail, dental anomaly, exudative retinopathy, Fanconi anemia, microcephaly, cetrabismus, short stature, mental retardation, hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation, thumb anomaly, skeletal anomaly. Schwachmann Diamond syndrome, eczema, skeletal anomaly, immune deficiency. Pancytopenia, history and physical examination, laboratory study, patient may need complete blood count with differential, peripheral smear, retic count. If there is macrocytic anemia, increase MCV and decrease in reticulocyte 
with or without hypersegmented neutrophil, this is maybe megaloblastic anemia, Fanconi anemia, and dyskeratosis congenita. If there is evidence of hemolysis in a creaseritic count more than 2 to 3 percent, if it is Coombs negative, this is could be sepsis, shock, splenic sequestration, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. If there is Coombs positive, this is could be autoimmune pancytopenia like systemic lupus erythematosus. If there is blast on peripheral smear or uh, leucoerythroblastosis, patient uh, need bone marrow. Uh, this is, could be bone marrow infiltration or replacement. Differential diagnosis, malignancy, leukemia, lymphoma, neuroblastoma, osteopetrosis, storage disorder, myeloproliferative disorder, or myelodysplasia. If there is a decreased retic count less than 2%, at least two of the following are present. Absolute neutrophil count less than 500, platelet count less than 20,000, or retic count less than 1%. If no, none of these are present, this is mild to moderate ablastic anemia, hypoplastic anemia. Repeat complete blood count in two to three weeks, with or without viral serology or referral to a hematologist. If it is a normal complete blood count, this is, could be viral infection, parvovirus, hepatitis, Epstein-Barr virus, HIV, or transient ablastic crisis. If it is persistent pancytopenia, or it is severe ablastic anemia, at least as we mentioned, two of the following present, referral for bone marrow aspiration with or without viral serology, this is, could be malignancy or storage disease or other problem, as we mentioned, or due to hypocellular marrow. If it is hypocellular marrow, either congenital or acquired, congenital like Fanconi anemia, dyskeratosis congenita, schwachmann diamond syndrome, familial ablastic anemia, congenital amygdalkaryocytic thrombocytopenia, myelodysplasia, Down syndrome, Nonan syndrome, Dubuitus syndrome, sickle syndrome, or acquired hypocellular marrow, idiopathic radiation, drugs, chemicals, virus, Epstein-Barr virus, hepatitis, parvovirus, HIV, immune disease, hypogamma globulinemia, thyroma, pregnancy, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, or systemic disease. When blasts are seen on peripheral smear, it indicates leukemia requiring referral for bone marrow examination. Leucoerythroblastosis, myelophthysitic anemia, is usually due to invasion of the bone marrow and resulting release of immature cell including erythroblast, nucleated erythrocyte, immature neutrophil, and giant platelet. Laboratory findings suggested hemolysis include abnormal cell morphology, increased retic count, increased RDW, increased uh, indirect uh, bilirubin, urine uh, urobilogen, and lactate dehydrogenase, and decrease in serum haptoglobin and uh, hemoglobin urea. The most common cause of mild uh, or moderate pancytopenia in healthy patient is suppressed is suppression due to infectious agent. Specific virus include a human parvovirus P19, hepatitis virus B, C, non A, non B, non C, dengue virus, cytomegalovirus, a human herpes virus 6, and Epstein Barr virus. Other viruses that may cause cytopenia include measles, mumps, rubella, varicella, and influenza A. If a viral etiology is suggested, it is reasonable to recheck complete blood count in a few weeks. If the pancytopenia persists or become more severe, refer to a hematologist for further evaluation is recommended. Patient with HIV may have pancytopenia for a number of reasons, including opportunistic infection, drugs used in treatment, and neoplasm associated with the disease. In autoimmune pancytopenia, the Coombs direct antiglobulin test is usually positive. There is evidence of hemolysis with the autoimmune hemolytic anemia. 
It is known as Evans syndrome when the patient has autoimmune hemolytic anemia and immune thrombocytopenic purpura. There may also be associated autoimmune neutropenia. It may be associated with disorders such as systemic lupus erythematosus. Megaloblastic anemia, large RBC with abnormal hypersegmented neutrophil due to vitamin B12 or folate deficiency is rare in children. Neutropenia and thrombocytopenia may be present particularly in patients with long-standing and severe deficiency. Vitamin B12 deficiency may be seen in a breastfed infant of a vegan mother or other malabsorption due to rare intrinsic factor deficiency congenital pernicious anemia, resection of ileum, or impaired absorption or in inflammatory condition like celiac disease. Folate deficiency may be caused by decreased absorption due to resection or inflammatory disease of the small bowel or certain anticonvulsant drug like phenytoin, primidone, phenobarbital. Folate deficiency may occur in infant fats goat's milk, which is low in folate. Some medication like methotrexate, trimethoprim, can inhibit the action of folate. Increased folate requirement may occur in chronic hemolytic anemia like sickle cell. Patients with hemolytic anemia who have shortened red blood cell survival time are at risk for a transient aplastic crisis. This is most commonly associated with the parvovirus and may occur in children with sickle cell disease, thalassemia, hereditary spherocytosis, and other type of erythroid stress. Fanconi anemia is an autosomal recessive condition. Two-thirds of affected children have congenital anomaly. These include microcephaly, microphthalmia, absent radii, and thumb, as well as heart and kidney abnormality. There may be hypopigmentation of the skin and short stature. Dyskeratosis congenita is a rare form of ectodermal dysplasia associated with pancytopenia. Dermatological manifestation include hyperpigmented skin, dystrophic nail, and mucous membrane leukoplakia. Schwachmann diamond syndrome is characterized by neutropenia with exocrine pancreatic insufficiency like malabsorption, steatoria, failure to thrive. About 50% develop aplastic anemia. Pregnancy may be associated with aplastic anemia. Estrogen may play a role. Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is characterized by intravascular hemolysis and hemoglobinuria as well as venous thrombosis. There is a strong association with the plastic anemia. Systemic disease may be associated with pancytopenia. This inc may include systemic lupus erythematosus, metabolic disease, brucellosis, sarcoidosis, and tuberculosis. Replacement of marrow by malignant or non-hematopoietic cell may cause pancytopenia. Condition include leukemia, lymphoma, and neuroblastoma, metastasis due to bone marrow. Osteopetrosis may cause obliteration of the bone marrow. Myelofibrosis may also be the cause. Myelodysplastic syndrome is rare in children. There is an increased risk of development with the Down syndrome, Kostman syndrome, Nonan syndrome, Fanconi anemia, trisomy 8 mosaicism, neurofibromatosis, and schwachmann diamond syndrome. Pierce and pitfall, aplastic anemia is an uncommon but potentially serious disease in children. Bone marrow aspiration and biopsy is required to establish the diagnosis and store, stage the disease. In contrast to those with leukemia, children with the aplastic anemia should have normal morphology on the peripheral smear. Patients with, with fever and neutropenia require broad-spectrum antibiotic and admission. Thank you for your...